yes there's nothing as a perfect focus expression blurry does before you come for me let me explain what i mean every photographer or retoucher has their own focus expression blurry does which they use to retouch that image and in this video i'm going to show you the focus expression blurry does which i used to retouch my headshots my portrait and my full body shot. I'm also going to explain how you can find the focus separation blurry videos that works for you. So let's jump straight into Photoshop right now. Now that we're in Photoshop, I'm going to be using this full body shot right here as an example. I'm also going to be using this image right here as another example and also this one right here as another example. So let's start with this full body shot. So if I was to touch this image personally, I'll be using a radius of about 3 to 4. That's the blurry videos I'll use. Like I said before, each photographer or retoucher has their own focus separation blur radius which they use. But for me, if I was to retouch this image, I'm going to be using focus separation blur radius of 3 to 4. And let me explain why. And the reason why I use a smaller blur radius for this image is because it's a full body image and we won't see the um, effects if we use a higher blur radius. Remember, the uh, lower the blur radius, the smoother the image and the less texture it, it retains. While the higher the blur radius, the more texture you have on the image. Since this image is a full body shot, let me just quickly show you the before and after of this image so you see what I mean. So I, I basically use a tool to recharge this image. So this is the before and this is the after. You can see how smooth it actually looks because I use a small blur radius. If I used a higher number, I wouldn't have seen this effect. It wouldn't have affected the image at all. Nothing would have happened to this image if I was to use a higher focus equation blur radius. So that's why I use 3 to 4 for an image like this. And for a half body portrait like this, I'll be using a radius of about 5 to 8, depending on how sharp the image is and how much texture we have on the image. So this image, I touch it with a focus separation blur radius of 5. That's what I used to touch this image right here. I used 5 to touch this particular image right here that you're seeing on the screen right now. So the same rules apply to um, this image. If you want to retain textures on your image, use a higher blur radius. But if you want your image to be smooth, use a smaller blur radius. And honestly, I don't really know who made that rules, but it works all the time. That's working for me. And if you want to follow the rules, you are free to follow. If you have something that's working for you, you are free to use what works for you. But this method is working for me and that's what I personally use. So if this video has been helpful to you so far, Make sure to give this video a like so that more people can see this video and also learn from this video as well. And finally, for headshot like this, if I was to retouch this image, I'll use a focus separation blur radius of about 11 to 25, depending on how sharp the image is. And also, if I decide to keep a lot of textures from the image. So the reason why I use such high blur radius for an image like this, I think for this particular image, I use blur radius of 20 to retouch this particular image right here because I want this image to look as natural as possible. That's why I use that high blur radius. And same moves apply to headshots or beauty shots like this. If you want more textures or if you want to keep more textures on your image, use a higher blur radius. You are going to have a lot of textures on your image. But if you want your image to be smooth, use a smaller blur radius to touch headshot like this and you are going to get a smooth image for this particular image i use a radius of 20 to touch this image this image right here just look natural and it looks so so good because i use a higher blur radius to touch this particular image right here so let me quickly show you the before and after again this is the before this is the after so let me quickly do a recap if I want to retouch a full body image like this one right here, you are seeing on the screen right now, I use the blur radius of 3 to 4 to retouch a full body image like this. Why if I want to retouch this half portrait or half body shot like this, I use the radius of about 5 to 8 to retouch images like this. Why for headshots like this, I use the radius of about 11 to 25 to retouch an image like this. So that's how I personally use my own secret separation blur radius to retouch my image. So if there's one thing you should take from this video, if there's one thing you should learn from this video, just remember, if you want to retain textures on your image, make sure you are using a higher focus separation blur radius. Why if you want your image to be smooth or you don't want to keep texture on your image, make sure you are using a smaller blur radius to retouch your image. Like this video if you learned anything from this video and I'll see you guys in my next video. Stay creative.